one important thing I can say about how I even discovered that I was Jewish is that um, this is a very multi-ethnic uh, town. Uh, it, is, it had a high Hungarian population, Ruthenians, uh, it's a minority around that region. Um, uh, Jews live there, Ukrainians, Russians, and there's a plurality of religious observance because there is uh, Eastern Orthodoxy and Greek Catholicism in addition to the Roman Catholicism of Hungarians. So people are speaking different languages. Uh, presume we have different religions, but we don't talk about religion much in the Soviet Union. But in the kindergarten, what I notice is that three languages are apparent. Some people are speaking Hungarian, and I don't understand anything. It's an unrelated language entirely. So I know I can cross off the list that I'm not Hungarian. Uh, some people are speaking Ukrainian, which I understand somewhat, but not too well. But it's possible that we're Ukrainian, just happen to speak Russian. And then other people are speaking Russian, which I understand pretty well. So there's still that ambiguity, Ukrainian versus Russian. So I go over to my father and ask, uh, am I Ukrainian or am I Russian? And he responds, neither, you're a Jew. And even though this was, I feel, the first conversation I ever had, I'm probably five years old at this point, it felt like a stab in the back. It was like, oh no, it's like I was told that I have a disease. Because on some level, I must have overheard, maybe it was as subtle as talking about some Jewish subjects with a few words relating to Judaism or to Jewish uh, ethnicity, and then sighs, and then complaints or something. So I, I, I had it uh, subconsciously that this is something that's a burden. So when I heard that I'm a Jew, then something like, that doesn't sound good. That, that's what I thought. I don't know if to call it shame, but if I was then told, um, if I were to ask myself, should I be open about it with my classmates in school? I would say, I, I, I would not do it, not because it's shameful, but somehow it's just like we don't, it's also almost axiomatic, not because there's shame, but, but it's just that you don't talk about that. Uh, it's something that's discreet. It's, it's, it's something personal. And um, I'm not sure how many years afterwards I did understand who in the, class, in the classroom were Jewish. Uh, there were two other boys. And among ourselves, sometimes we sort of acknowledge this and mention it. Not, not to the extent of having our own little club where we tell Jewish jokes or anything like that, but um, you acknowledge among ourselves, we knew not to do so among other people.